We work hard in IT to keep our environments tuned and secure, but how can we really prove that things are actually getting better and not worse? We'll find out on today's episode of Gotanium Tech Talks. As admins, our managers often ask us for that rich Tanium data to drive business decisions. You know, patching, compliance, security, they take up most of our days. And we also have a review at the end of the year where we need to show that how we've actually made an impact in our role. But you know what? Our manager's manager's manager also has to show an impact in his role to the boardroom. Uh, that our IT posture is actually becoming better, healthier, more secure, right? So today, that's what we're talking about is this new module from Tanium called Benchmark. And that's going to help us with that story. And then we also have a lab coming up. Oh, I know in the last few uh, episodes here, we've been talking about Converge Labs. We've got a Converge Lab so that you can get your hands on this new stuff that we're going to be talking about today. So back for his third appearance, the most featured guest so far on Gotanium today. Back for his third appearance is my buddy, Lucas Lyon. Welcome back, Lucas. Uh, for those who haven't met you before, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey there. So uh, Lucas Lyon, been with Tanium for, I think we're going on seven plus years now. Uh, my primary focus has been our compliance and risk suite of products. And right now I'm Working primarily on our benchmark and criticality products. The story for the folks who are watching today is that this is kind of a new module, kind of not. Give, catch us up here. What's going on? You know, we wanted to do something originally uh, with Tanium Risk. You know, I was on here before to talk about that. We wanted to do Tanium Risk so that we could, you know, give customers an idea. How, you, how are you doing? Where are you at? And then are you getting better or worse over time so that you have some way to you know, look at how you're doing for things like vulnerabilities, uh, user permissions, things like that. And so we have a fun analogy here, right? So Tanium Risk, if you think about it, um, let's compare it to, you know, I'm going to the track meet and I'm doing the long jump and I get a, you know, let's say nine feet on the long jump. And I think that's pretty good, right? And now I'm measuring my performance. And over time, I see that I'm Increasing, I, I work up to 11 feet. I can do it an 11 foot long jump. Have no idea if that's a real, you know, if that's a crazy number. And so Tanium Risk was about showing you these measurements that we think matter and giving you that data and rate of change over time. And so one of the bits of feedback that we got from our customers was, hey, that's great. But when I go talk to management, when I go talk to the board, I don't have a frame of reference. And so what I mean by that is, it's great that you're telling me that we have, you know, uh, a 400 risk score and our, you know, vulnerabilities vector is, you know, 200. That seems great. And I can see that it's getting better over time. And that's also great. But it's difficult for me to understand generally, is that good or bad compared to the rest of the industry? And so Tanium Benchmark is an addition and a, and a change to Tanium Risk. It still has all of the original Tanium Risk features. And Tanium Benchmark, what it does is it, one, establishes a bunch of new metrics, which we'll talk about. And the idea behind Tanium Benchmark is now, if you we go back to the track meet, you know, analogy, instead of just telling you, you know, hey, you've improved to the point you have, a, you're getting an 11 foot long jump. Now we're going to tell you, hey, you're actually third in the state for long jump. <laughs> and so now I actually understand, wow, so... I know I'm getting better over time, but now I actually have a frame of reference compared to other, you know, customers or other people that are doing track meets. And I know that I'm doing pretty good. And that's what Tanium Benchmark does. It establishes now a comparison with other Tanium customers um, that are in a customer's industry and allows them to see how they're doing for their risk scoring as well as a bunch of new metrics. Um, and we show that over time. Man. You know, this just feels like it's it's right. Uh, like as far as the the progression, the way Tanium has been innovating, new things we've been doing because we've been giving this data for so long, but now you've got context to that data, and, and I, I can hear people asking questions already. Right? So you said something about industry and about comparing to other people. How yeah, does that so let's, work? Let's talk about that. So, um, you know, we basically have we have an opt in for customers and customers. 
opt in to sharing anonymous data. And this data is not kept to customer names. So to be clear, we keep two values. Those values are customer industry and we uh, general customer size buckets. So, you know, something like 50 to 75,000, 75 to 120,000, something like that. We have these general buckets. And then we have key metrics. And so metrics might be um, your Tanium risk score. It might be the mean time to patch for your organization. It might be the average impact rating of an endpoint. And so we're aligning those metrics that we collect anonymously and securely. We're just collecting and collating those to industry size or specific industry like manufacturing or um, something like that. And that's how we, you know, we keep, keep and store the data. And then a customer's data, um, they see their own scores and they see that compared to the rest of their industry. And, and you can kind of see it on the screen. Well, uh, you know, in a little bit, we'll talk about it. But we basically show you now how you're doing, how you're changing over time, but also how do you compare to other customers in your industry or in your size range? Well, I tell you what, obviously, I, I could ask a lot of questions. Why don't we just dump, jump straight into the demo? Because I, I think that's going to help uh, folks when you can see it all of a sudden, it's, it's not going to be as fuzzy. So yeah, let's take a look. So we're going to jump right in here. And we're looking at Tanium Benchmark, right? And so what Tanium Benchmark does is it establishes some things where, you know, we have this, this view right here. We have our original risk score and we have our risk vectors. But what you're seeing here is you're seeing that you have, you know, these are called uh, bell charts. And so it gets into some stati statistician type stuff, right? But essentially what this is showing you is what is the average, you know, uh, range of customer values for one of these metrics? What is the median? The median is always the 50. You can also change this to view um, by the 75th percentile. So if you're aiming to be top of the pack, so to speak, you can look at it that way. But the default is the median, right? So we see the what's the median value for all customers in your industry. And then we're showing you specifically, you know, the original risk score, but then we're adding a couple categories here. We're adding security and operations. So security is, you know, things like uh, we're starting to combine Tanium data into individual metrics. So for example, we're now showing you what's the impact rating of machines that also have threat response alerts. So if you can imagine the other things we can do here, we're now saying, we're not just telling you, hey, these machines have threat response alerts. We're saying of the machines that have threat response alerts, here are the ones that have very poor user permissions. And so these machines would be um, you know, volatile targets for something like lateral movement. Right. And then we're doing, you know, you can imagine there's lots of other metrics and security. Um, we're also doing things like how quickly do you update your software, right? Your, you know, your, your PDF readers and your software like that, the non operating system patches. And then generally, you know, how are you doing on things like uh, user permissions and things like that? And so for each of these, we're showing you that over time, but we're also allowing you to drill down into that data. So let's look at if we go in and we hit view details on any of these, right? Because this is great to know. Again, some of these targets, your manager's manager's manager, right? We're, we're targeting the executive view, the board view. And so we have those high level metrics that they often ask for, but then we also let you get into the details. And so on any of these, you can actually go in and you can see the change over time for the percentile, right? So the, the benchmark, right? The median range um, is 50 here's the percentile I sit at. And so since I'm doing poorly, I'm doing under the median for this one, the chart's slightly red. And then we're showing you the exact values. So if we go and we look at something like uh, mean time to patch, right? I can now track how quickly I'm applying patches. You know, so when we say this, we're saying uh, that we're measuring the time that a patch was released to the time that you've actually successfully deployed that patch. And we're showing you the exact values here. So we're saying, you know, that uh, in this case, we're doing better, right? So our average time to deploy a patch is 28 days. And the median is actually 37 days. And you can see that in the direct values. And then obviously, we, we want to integrate with all of our new reporting capabilities, right? So you can always click into one of these. And this will actually take you to a detailed report in Tanium Data Explorer. And then you can get this data out. You can create charts and graphs. You can really do whatever you wish there to kind of get into the data. And you know you can add additional filters and things like that. And so 
not only are we trying to, again, apply context and provide additional context, but we're also trying to make sure that the data is accessible to our customers for reporting. And that could be reporting at you know the SOC level. It could be reporting all the way up to the executive level. Man, this is really nice. It, it, and I kind of hear two reactions going on as people are watching this. Like, you're throwing trash on my lawn. I don't want people to see this. Like, you know, that's that's one reaction, right? But then there's the other people who are like really on top of their game. And like, finally, I can prove it that we really are doing this right. So, uh, yeah, I, I can see a pretty big spectrum of responses. What have you heard from customers so far? Well, so what we've actually heard from customers is um, that this is the right way to go. I mean, a lot of the early risk feedback we got was like, hey, this is useful. Because if you haven't tried to build a risk monitoring program, um, it can be fairly daunting, right? You have to take a lot of different types of data, get it into something like a SIM or some kind of a data warehouse. And then there's usually like three or four different parts you've got to kind of, you know, hammer together and try and get to some end state where you can see it all together. And so, you know, the, the risk feedback was like, hey, this is great we didn't have this we didn't have the resources to build this but now i need you to make it better and so tanya benchmark is our you know our first attempt to try and make this better right and in the future we're going to be doing things like obviously talking to our customers what other benchmark metrics should we monitor are there ways that we can improve the risk scoring those are the things we're looking at now uh, from what i've heard there's another component of this as well called criticality uh, what's what's the I, I can kind of take a guess based on the name, but uh, mm -hmm. fill us in there. What's the story with crit criticality? Yeah. So if you remember, I'm going to jump into. So like I said before, when we're in here in benchmark, I can go and I can look at the Tanium risk score. So all of my original risk scoring capabilities are actually still here in benchmark. Right. So if you're using Tanium risk, you know, benchmark is an upgrade. Right. So to be clear, if you have Tanium risk already. It's, a, it's an upgrade into benchmark. There's no additional you know, cost or anything like that. And you basically have all the same capabilities you had before. But one of the things that was also an early point of feedback was that establishing asset criticality was too challenging and that it should be um, more accessible and easier to do, right? And so one of the decisions we made with risk one three is um, basically to take what we're doing with criticality, make it better, and to take it out of risk. And so what that means is we've established what we call the criticality service. This is now a shared service. So if you're on a previous version of risk and you upgrade to risk one, three, or benchmark, this happens automatically. Your existing rules are migrated over. And what this actually allows you to do is to use Tanium rules, Tanium question builder, um, to use basically manual, you can still use manual lists. You can use CSV uploads and allows you to create a set of rules that automatically apply criticality to your endpoints. And again, Tanium Risk, Tanium Benchmark, um, use this today. It's accessible within the Tanium Data Explorer and reporting. And so what I can do is I can set up rules. For example, you know, we have some default rules, right? So we say domain controllers are critical. We say servers are high. We say workstations are medium. But then I also have a default criticality I can apply. And then we have tiers of kind of how those are, um, you know, carried out, are there conflicts, right? And so if I have a conflict at any point, then the default criticality is on the bottom, right? We apply that first. And then if I have a rule that I've created, that rule supersedes the default setting. And then on top of that, I may have, you know, I may have, for example, a set of works, a uh, set of servers in my data center. And I say, those should all be critical, but two or three of those are actually um, staging machines. And they're in that critical group, but I don't want them to be critical because they're staging or something. I can actually create a prioritized rule that then supersedes the other rules. And we allow you to create several of those to basically you know, have an order of operations. And so um, the feedback that we got from this was, you know, this is a much better approach. Uh, it now makes this data accessible to any other reporting. You know, customers with threat response, customers with other things can now go in and when they look at the list of endpoints, they can see the criticality of those endpoints. And this is, of course, something they can use, even if they're not a risk customer. A finance customer that I had that said, yeah, we've got this special locked room. That's where the payroll machines are, right? right? You know, check processing, whatever. You've got manufacturing folks who, you know, want to make sure their factory floor machines are treated with high criticality. So I can see this applying lots of places. And we wanted to make sure there are exceptions, right? So the reason that you can make different rules is because there's always 
if you've ever been in the modern enterprise, right, there's always going to be some system that doesn't fit the mold. And you want to score that a little differently, or maybe you want to, you know, call workstations medium, but you want the C-level workstations to be critical or something like that. Absolutely. So we got criticality, we got benchmark. So how do we see criticality then uh, surfaced here inside benchmark? Yeah, so criticality is still part of the risk scoring. So in Tanium Benchmark, you see, we now have kind of a new homepage. And the new homepage is basically that metrics breakdown by category. So today we have the enterprise risk category, the security category, and the operations category. And if I dive into the Tanium risk score from the main menu, then I'm back into the Tanium risk score, right? So I can look at all computers. I can go by... Um, you know, specific groups, if I want to can change the views, just like everywhere else, criticality is still used as a uh, multiplier, or, you know, a, a component of your risk score. And that will remain true. What we'd like to do, though, is, is get more intelligent about how we're doing risk scoring and continue to make it make more sense. And so um, we're gathering feedback from folks that converge, we're talking to early customers and existing customers and prospects about you know, what makes the most sense here. But we do think that endpoint criticality and, you know, potentially at some point, possibly user criticality could be a vital, valid component of, you know, understanding which endpoints are most important and also which ones present the most risk. So we're not going to really see it on the screen necessarily when it comes into risk or benchmark, but we just know that in the math algorithms in the background, that yeah. if a machine's critical and it has a CVE on it, then we know that it's going to be weighing the score more, right? Yeah, absolutely. And we still show this breakdown. We do have some uh, additional improvements planned. One of the things that we understand and, and some of the early feedback we've gotten even from Benchmark is that we need to continue to add context and make things more clear, right? So if you look here, uh, we understand these, these kind of charts can be kind of an eye chart. And so we try and break some of this data down. We're going to continue doing that and, and making things better. But yeah, criticality today, at least for risk, is used as still a component of the risk score itself, right? So if you have the same problem on two endpoints, but one of those is a critical endpoint, the scoring of that endpoint is going to be higher. The next question I have as an administrator who uh, is responsible for Tanium at their company, what do I need to do to get this if I'm not a risk customer, if I'm already a risk customer? Are there module dependencies, versions? Is it on-prem, cloud, all those type things? I'm glad you asked this. So if you're an existing risk customer, you just upgrade. That's all there is to it, right? Um, benchmark uh, is right now it's in our Tanium cloud environment. Our Tanium cloud customers kind of get that first on-prem is coming uh, soon. Um, and so it is a direct upgrade. We did that on purpose because we didn't want to create a situation where some kind of a migration was necessary or something like that. And so when you upgrade from risk to benchmark, it, you know, it just works, right? You just basically upgrade and it changes everything. Um, if you're not an existing customer, one of the other really big pieces of feedback that we got from early risk customers was, there are too many dependencies, you know, like I want to use risk, but I don't have reveal. I want to use risk, but I use something else for this, for that. And so we changed the model with benchmark. Benchmark does what we call using what you got. And so, for example, if I'm a benchmark and patch customer, I'm going to see patch related metrics. If I'm a benchmark impact and threat response customer, I'm going to see those metrics that come from that data. And then we will suggest, you know, metrics. Um, I think we'll still make it so that you can see, you know, what else you would have access to. But the idea behind Benchmark is that essentially just a specific platform requirements, um, you know, recent version, semi-recent versions of console and platform. But then we will basically check your licensing. What do they have installed? What do they have licensed? And then uh, as a coming soon item, one of the next things that we're releasing is a benchmark kind of health page. And so we're going to make it so that for every single metric, we're going to tell you some key items, right? Is this uh, compatible, right? Is the metric compatible with this endpoint? Are we getting data from the endpoint? Does the system, you know, for this metric have a good health, right? Do we see that it's functional? And is it in the action group? And that's also based on early feedback. One of the things we put in risk was the risk health page. And this actually allowed customers to see, hey, you know, I'm not getting data for this thing. Why is that so? And it allowed customers to kind of hone in on 
how do you know what you don't know, right? So we're going to continue that with Tanning Benchmark. As we're kind of winding down on time here, are there any other, you, you've covered a lot. This looks really Im- impressive. And and I, I say really impressive knowing that this is uh, kind of a, a 1.0 release, right? So, but just the, the capability that we're introducing here, it really feels like a game changer for a lot of folks. Um, before we talk about the Converge Labs, is there anything else you want to emphasize here just to kind of wrap up the segment? I think we just want, we want, you know, a lot of Tanium development comes from customer feedback, right? A lot of what we built historically and what we continue to build is really based on what our customers tell us that they need and like what would help them do their job. And I think that that remains true. And we are very much interested in that data and those opinions, even if you're not a customer for risk today, um, you know, talk to your team, get a POC going, check it out and give us some feedback. Like we would love to have as much fear, especially if you've ever worked and tried to build a risk program, or if you already have a successful risk program, that's some of the best feedback we've gotten is from, you know, really mature customers that have done this. And we've learned some gotchas and some, you know, things to avoid from those customers. And so just keep, you know, keep sending us your feedback. And what's the best channel for that feedback? Is it in the context of a POC or is there an email alias? How can people get in touch with you, Lucas? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, in the context of a POC, if you're not an existing customer, is the best way to get you know feedback to me and my team directly and certainly PM. Um, I think that if you are an existing customer, you know, you can go directly to your, your TAM or your account team. Um, but certainly, um, you know, we try and make this as accessible as we can. We have something called the Tanium Risk Assessment that you know is based on all of this data that customers I think can kind of do a rapid fire uh, approach on that. And so, you know, we we also have the Tanium community. So we have a new blog post up from our PM on Tanium Benchmark and what it introduces. And so if you're a Tanium customer at all, go check it out on community and send us a note there as well. All right, great. And we'll talk about some of those resources come up here in just a second. But before we get there, uh, this month we're featuring Converge. Uh, it's coming up really quick here, November 14th through the 17th in mm-hmm. Austin. And people are probably sick of hearing me to promote Converge every episode recently, but this is a, this is a big deal because you're going to get to be able to have hands on with Lucas in the room to show you uh, this new module and experience. Lucas, you want to tell people what they can expect in the lab? Yeah, absolutely. So everything you've seen here today is in our Converge lab, right? It's, it's essentially an introduction to Tanium Risk, Tanium Benchmark, and Tanium Criticality. And so the lab actually has exercises that walk you through scenarios with risk scoring with benchmark and with criticality and so the lab has all of these things in it and has you know other modules installed so that you can kind of compare and contrast and our goal was to have that introductory course and, you know next time we'll probably do something you know maybe more use case specific but this time we have some you know how how do i see this how does it work you know how do i get my hands dirty so to speak and when you go for your Converge registration, if you've not already picked your sessions, again, I always say these labs fill up very quickly. You want to make sure you select it, select it quickly. This is the name of the lab you're looking for. It's kind of long. Setting the Curve, How to Improve Your Marks and Reduce Enterprise Risk with Tanium Benchmark. Okay, that's the, the long title that you're looking for. Just search for that word benchmark. You'll find it, right? Setting the Curve is the short name there. So, uh, Lucas, also, I know we've got a press release out there, the community page, all those uh, resources. We'll put those in the show notes here on the YouTube channel. So just look at the bottom of the video. I have all those resources down there. So uh, anything else you want to wrap up with here today for uh, criticality and benchmark, Lucas? I, I think we would just say that, you know, one of the things that excites us that I get really excited about is taking those things that customers have been telling us about for a long time. And trying to do that more cutting edge, how do we take all, you know, I'm, I'm just super excited about taking all these different types of data and putting them into context. If you have ideas about that, the more we can do that, the stronger kind of Tanium becomes. And so that's where we're going. I think you'll continue to see it more and more modules, but certainly if you have feedback, let us know. Thanks for being on the show again today for your third time. Yeah, we need to come up with some kind of a special trophy or, you know, something like that for you. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining us today. And for those of you who are watching, be sure to check out the the notes below with the links that we mentioned. And I hope that we'll see you at Converge uh, and you'll get a chance to meet Lucas and the team that have worked on this in person. 
And we look forward to seeing you there. Also, if you're uh, looking at to be at Converge, I would love to do a quick video with you. So uh, find, look for the white goatee and uh, find me and we'll, we'll get a video together and uh, make the internet famous. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on today's episode of Gotanium Tech Talks. Until next time, Gotanium.